There's a new political climate in Washington. And like most special interests, property casualty independent agents are learning to deal with it. Bob Rusbolt, president and CEO of the Independent Insurance Agents and Brokers of America, explains that in the new political climate, Republicans have very little power. Our number one concern right now with what's going on in Washington, D.C. is, is health care reform. And uh, I am usually an, an optimist, but there is a different agenda in Congress. Republicans, for all practical purposes, are not going to be part of the decision-making process. They now have lost the filibuster, are about to lose it in the United States Senate. Um, majority rules in the House of Representatives is a steamroller. Republicans have 178 seats out of 435, virtually irrelevant in the House of Representatives. Of course, uh, President Obama controls the executive branch, including the Treasury Department, which is very important to independent insurance agents. So it is very, very tough for Republicans to be involved in the debate on health care reform. Um, President Obama ran on a very clear agenda in health care reform. And that includes everything from an insurance exchange to possibly a government option. And my concern is that if we have a government option in health care reform, uh, over a very short period of time it will crowd out the private sector. There's no way that private insurance companies are going to be able to compete with the United States government for a host of reasons that you don't have time to, for me to talk about now on tape. That, is that where you're afraid that agents will be squeezed out? So agents, uh, obviously if private insurance companies are no longer part of the equation, that means independent insurance agents are not going to be part of the equation as well. So I have very serious concerns about the direction health care reform is going. Uh, the final chapter has not been written yet, but we're getting close to that. Ten years ago, the political climate was a little different and it produced what's known as Graham-Leach-Bliley Act, which broke down the walls that separated insurance, securities, and banking. Property casualty agents fought this for the longest time. In the end, they ended up compromising and getting into the legislation some protections for state regulation and consumers. We asked Bob Rusfeld if the time has come to revisit Graham-Leach-Bliley and whether it has been good for agents and the country. We actually ended up supporting the Graham Leach Bliley Act in 1999. We had problems with it. We struck a number of compromises with uh, then Graham Leach and Bliley. Um, and there was a lot of tough negotiating, but we maintained functional regulation of insurance. And that was the primary goal. Um, we could talk all day about whether there should have been integration of banking and commerce, integration of investment banking and commercial banking, and history will be the judge of that. But um, for independent agents, the Graham Leach Bliley Act maintained the necessary functional regulation that we sought, in addition to including some consumer protection language on credit tie ins, uh, some other consumer protection provisions that we sought. So at the end of the day, we supported the bill, along with our insurance company partners. But looking back on it now and playing Monday morning quarterback, uh, I think there were additional safeguards that needed to be included for our larger economy. Today, Congress is revisiting regulation of financial services. Bob Rusfeld thinks there's going to be some change. I think it's very tough to put the genie back in the bottle. We've had deregulation across the globe, from London to Washington and New York, and even to, even to the uh, Russian uh, uh, financial services market. So I think it'd be very tough to go backwards. Having said that, it doesn't mean you can't enact uh, consumer safeguards. It doesn't mean you can't enact new oversight procedures. We're looking at enacting a systemic risk regulator here, which I think makes conceptually some sense. Um, but putting the genie back in the bottle, going back to the laws of the 1930s, probably is not doable. The concern for Rust Belt and the Big Eye seems to be not that there's a systemic risk regulator coming, but just how much authority this new federal regulator could have and what that will mean for the continuation of state regulation of insurance.